Happy holidays, Leo. Welcome to your December 2015 RuneScope with me. My name is Amanda. Just wanted to mention a couple of things really quick. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to listen to uh, the radio show that I was on last month, uh, Solar Temple Radio, uh, that link will be posted here in the video if you wanna uh, check that out. Uh, a student of mine hosts that show and we just chatted about the runes and uh, divination in general and about uh, kind of getting in touch with your own intuition, psychic development, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in that, you can give a listen to uh, that. Just follow the link here in the video. Um, also wanted to mention I will have holiday gift certificates available through December 17th if you would like to give someone the gift of a reading with me. Um, just get in touch with me by December 17th. I just send it as a PDF file and then you can print it out or email it however you want to. Uh, give it to your loved one. But let's jump in here, Leo, and see what, they definitely want that one. Okay, see what we got. And this month I will be using the Medieval Scapini deck by Luigi Scapini to get our, uh, Tarot info here. Um, please do keep in mind, I'm gonna remind you as I always do, that these are general readings. So as such, not all messages will apply to you specifically. Uh, that's why I always encourage you to check out the video for your rising sign or your ascendant as well. Uh, rising sign and ascendant are the same thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to confuse you. That can have some more messages for you or also just clarify some things in the general sun sign reading. If you would like a reading only for you where all of the messages are for you, you can schedule an appointment with me. I do readings live on Skype. They're $65 for 30 minutes. Just drop me a line at the email address in the video or below this video to schedule an appointment. It's runescopes for you at gmail.com. That's the number four and the letter U. And now's a great time if you want kind of an overview of 2016 for you personally. I do tend to book up very quickly in January, so I encourage you, if you want to get a New Year's reading, go ahead and schedule it now, and you can kind of beat the rush. And we will uh, we'll take a look at what 2016 is going to hold for you. But let's see here, Leo. Your focus for the month of December. We do have the Five of Wands coming up here along with tear in the reverse. So for many of you, this will be a man in your life that's just very argumentative in December. Uh, for some of you, this could be your son, your partner, uh, a family member, really could be anyone. This could be a boss or someone at work where, I mean, they just seem very confrontational um, or you're just, you, you guys aren't seeing eye to eye. And I mean, you could feel like this person is being selfish and kind of sulky. And it's interesting because I just had this for Aries. <laughs> I just had this rune for Aries. Your cards are different, but that rune came up for Aries too. So they're kind of dealing with the same thing. Um, but yeah, there's, there's this, it doesn't have to be a man in these general readings. It's not always, but, um, you know, it could be somebody that you just feel is not putting the effort in. Uh, maybe this is someone you feel like is not doing his job. He's not pulling his weight. Um, you know, not putting the effort into the relationship that you are. This is somebody that drops the ball or that you feel drops the ball. Um, Leo. And, you know, there's just some conflict going on over that. Because you probably call this person on it. You know, you were responsible for this. Or, you know, you seem like you've checked out of this relationship. I just feel like you're going to be, like, putting them on notice. Like, I've noticed this and I, I you know, I don't care for it. Um, I also have the Knight of Wands coming up. Generally a fire sign energy like you, Leo. So this could be yourself, uh, another Leo, a Sagittarius or an Aries. And because he's coming up as a knight, this could be someone younger than you. So it could be your son. Um, if, if you're in your uh, 20s to mid 30s, it could be you. But the knight of wands, he's coming up in the upright. So that tells me his intentions are good. So I think for the most part, I mean, if this is the same guy, it seems like you're gonna get things back on track or, or it seems like maybe you just calling his attention to this is going to kind of, um, get him to see things in a new way. Maybe he didn't realize what he was doing, um, you know, or he didn't realize you, you felt this way or, um, you know, and, and you kind of bringing it to his attention. He, there's renewed effort or he really starts, you kind of light a fire under him, I feel like. 
and uh, he gets moving. Um, now, if he's not the same person, this is somebody who who helps you see things in a new way, or or you know is trying to to do that. Um, this is someone who is very uh, optimistic about the future. So, especially coming up with this room, day eggs, because that has to do with, you know, seeing things in a new light, realizing that, yes, I've been through hard times, but now moving into a more positive uh, phase. So, um, now the help that's going to be available to you is coming in with the, uh, with the Knight of Cups. Uh, this guy's a water sign generally, water sign energy. Uh, so Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Probably a little bit younger than you again, uh, you know, you could view him as younger, but he's generally, yeah, in his uh, in his mid uh, to late 30s. It's so difficult, you know. Mid to late 30s is about right for the nights or, or uh, mid 20s to, to mid 30s, around in there, but this could be someone offering you uh, something, uh, making an offer of love. He's the most romantic of the nights. Um, for some of you, this could be your son. It could be a younger sibling who is proposing or, you know, definitely trying, making an offer of love to someone. I, I feel like that's how this is coming in. If it's not coming to you, Leo, it is someone around you who tells you I'm going to propose or, you know, I'm planning on asking, you know, this person to move in with me. Um, but it may not be happening right away. So there's some sort of delay around this. So, I mean, if this is someone who is proposing something to you, you it may be like he, you talk about it, but it's like we have to put it off for, for some reason or we can't move ahead right away. But I feel like that's good because when this room comes up, it indicates that you could damage the outcome of something if you proceeded too quickly or if you moved ahead too fast. Um, again, that message came up from one of the other fire signs. I don't know if it was Sag or, or Aries, but um, very similar messages with the fire signs here. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with a lot of the same energy in December. Um, but yeah, whatever this is, I feel like it's okay. It's like the delay is is good. Um, it, it's going to be a big, you know, a big help to either this person or to you or both of you. Uh, depending on who this person is uh, in your life. Again, knights do not have to be men in these general readings. They could be female uh, as well because there are so many people watching. Um, but yeah, any offers that are made in the romantic sense or in an emotional sense, um, it, it's positive, but yeah, there could be a bit of, it, you may not be able to act on it in December. Um, Eight of Wands is here as well, as far as what can't be changed. So the Eight of Wands is a lot of messages going on, a lot of messages being exchanged. And then we have the Knights here as well. So, I mean, they, and they normally bring news. So I feel like there's just a lot of information um, back and forth, maybe a lot of plans happening if you're doing the holidays or, or you know, trying to get travel plans, because this can also mean travel um, for some of you. And uh, it may just be a lot of messages or a lot of um, a lot of internet activity going on. It can also be the arrows of love, and uh, with the Knight of Cups here, it can also mean you know kind of romantic love messages being exchanged um, between you and your partner, or or you and uh, your crush, or uh, you know something like that. So yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this is somebody who is like interested in you rather than it being you know, your son or, or someone close to you who's, who, you know, it could be if he's at a distance and then he's just sending you these messages about, you know, what's going on with him um, or her. But uh, for a lot of you, this, I feel like this is someone who is, you, you know, you are exchanging messages uh, and they're kind of romantic or flirty, um, which is nice. Uh, now, at the end of the month, we do have uh, with Fehu, and Ingwas, someone, either you or someone close to you could be getting a promotion, a raise, a new job opportunity, because it seems like uh, there is an increase in money and power uh, going on. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is a totally new position. It's a new beginning. Um, or, you know, again, it's someone close to you. They may be leaving a job, going to another one. But it's, a, it's an improvement. Whatever this is, it's an increase 
in money and it, it's going to be more um creative or just more in line with what this person wants to do so i mean if you were looking to start a new gig next year leo um don't think just because it's december you can't look i i feel like a lot of you may find you know you may be maybe you found it in november and the interview is in december and you find out that you're that you're going to be starting there uh next year um but there is the two of cups next to this in reverse so I mean sometimes this can indicate friction in a, in a relationship or uh, it can sometimes indicate a divorce um, but this could be a divorce from a situation a divorce from a job uh, you know just leaving that behind um, or uh, you know getting out of a situation uh, and leaving it for a better one for sure so for a lot of you I don't feel like this is necessarily uh an ending now for some of you i mean these could be two competing two people competing for your affection in this water sign and this fire sign and you having to choose to end one relationship in order to to, to go on to a to a new one um for some of you maybe that one of these guys is someone at work this is coming up next to the knight of wands so uh with fehu here this could be someone at work and um neither than this this other one is sending you messages on the internet or something but yeah there there's you, it's like you've got again struggle conflict um you know, maybe one again was slipping in his effort that he was putting into the relationship. And so you kind of took it, you know, or, you know, one person doesn't have to be him for you guys watching out there. Um, maybe one partner, you know, that you were with or had been dating for a while started slipping in their attention or focus on the relationship. So you, your eye kind of wandered and started looking outside the relationship. Just make sure you end, you know, one before you start another one, if it's more, if it's been more than casual, if you're in a committed relationship, um, you know, I, I don't condone doing things behind people's backs. That's, ne that's never going to end in good. <laughs> that's never going to work out well for you so yeah just make sure you're ending one relationship before you jump headlong into another um you know be fair be fair to everyone around you and everyone that you have been involved with whether you're happy with them or not i mean you were happy with them at one point or excited about them at one point or you wouldn't be with them so uh just keep that in mind um but yeah i feel like you're you're gonna be thinking about leaving behind a part one partnership for for another and again this could be in a business or a romantic sense it'll be different for all of you but i think december is a month of you know making plans to move forward again there's a bit of a delay um there's a bit of a struggle going on or maybe about what you should do um but i think that it's going to become clear depending on the offer from from someone um one you know there's going to be an offer made to you that's just more appealing than either what you're dealing with or or another offer that's on the table so pretty exciting month leo a, a lot of stuff about relationships but there's some money increase as well so i i do feel like you know those of you who are looking to make more money in december you can do it either through uh, extra hours there may be a bonus uh coming to you or or a new opportunity maybe even to to uh take on an extra part-time job if you're looking to make more money for the holidays but whatever money you need for uh december it seems to be in abundance it seems to be a good money month for you so that is what i see leo for december happy holidays again and i'll see you back here in january